previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> to fortify these tunnels into town. <coughs> Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Guys, admin! And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! about Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people? They're... gone. Psst, Olivia. Axel. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean... I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But... You said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's going to pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? 
In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. forgotten about that stash. Are these? Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out! Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor! Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend standing in front of us, Nerm, within arm's reach. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone. Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are. Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stalk, the, uh, stab, well, from the, I'm, uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about me killing you? Big hit! You really know your audience. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute, which I'm sure no one will notice. Hang. Hang. <laughs> there may be nice. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? <laughs> <laughs> Nerm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. 
Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. This terminal is certainly mysterious. But, hopefully, not for long. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Mm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. Never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Stage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. The three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows what to do. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. You're wrong. Stella might have caused a lot of trouble in the past, but I know I got through to her in the Sunshine Institute. We can trust her. Sure hope you're right about that. Well, Stella does know where the fireworks skilled uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse. I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. There. 
Ooh, and there? What the? seen Stampy and Stacy? Whoa, whoa, relax, it's just me. Boy, you've gotten big. You're going to get me in trouble. Please close your dog mouth. Hey, remember I gave you that bone? I'm your friend, see? Jesse, dude, just unveiled the new statue you built. <laughs> yeah, it's got um character. Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but whoa, hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. Sha. <laughs> it is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Sha, sha, sure, go with your gut, totally. <laughs> by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. It's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. And hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect. Now we can... Oh, Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. 
Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. I wanted to, but it wasn't safe to contact you with you being so close to the admin. Oh, you were protecting me. We are such best friends. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the- No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! Olivia and Axel with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there, right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused, killing Fred, inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly, seeing that smile somehow makes it even more unbearable. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, you're Jesse. I'm glad we Let's as go to work. To of course it was mandatory, but I sense that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks you mean, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. <sighs> I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then... All we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one should give me a blue star shape. Very cool. <clears throat> Ivor? Shh. I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. And, um, apparently long-lasting. Wait, you had invisibility potions this whole time? Yes, but Ninja Law says you must wait for the most dramatic time to use them. What? Why? I don't know. I'm not a ninja lawyer. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility.
invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Ow. Okay, let's get crafting. Sugar cane. Oh, this isn't stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. Let's get crafting. Nice. Now just need to Hey Glenn, I Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't who huh. Yeah. That felt that felt good. Really good. Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second guess ourselves. And we can't let anyone get in our way. You can't take all your anger out on that one guard. He was just doing his job. Yeah, you're right. Technically. But his job shouldn't be pulling his sword on us. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, all strapped in, fireworks ready. need to oh perfect just what I needed ha! too slow dummy come at me ugly yeah. uh oh Whew, that was close okay time to get the others Yeah, we were getting kind of 
nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting... I don't know. Shh. Okay, okay, sorry, you're right. I'm, uh, being a nervous talker. You know, when you do, yeah. What's going on? Stand down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That, that's enough. Oops, S -s sorry. Puppy dog eyes won't get you anywhere right now. Not anymore. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. Do you see how angry you've made everyone? And you're just standing there, silent. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss... The admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Lucas, you know how much I care about you. I could never hurt you. <laughs> There's the Jesse I know. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait. Why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato. That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Bet Magnus would be proud to know his armor was helping take down an admin. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? 
Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Hang on, let me try and reason with them. Uh, hello, Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What, where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Guess it was just a temporary case of death. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... I want to talk because I know there's still good in you, Romeo. And I think that if we talk this out, maybe we can come to an understand. You... you really think that? Yeah. <sighs> I know I was all fiery and mad when you first showed up, but it's just as well. Blimey! I had no idea being you was going to be this difficult! Wait, what? Oh, yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm bloody exhausted! The, the constant whining, everyone asking for things all the time. Ugh, it's insufferable! I need iron blocks! Or better bricks! I don't want to be surrounded by lava! Oh my gosh, I actually know exactly what you mean. It gets really tiring, right? Oh, yes! And it's like, hello? Uh, can I get a little me time? It's just... But it was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you know... You know what's funny? You've made me see something. You know, it, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. I'm really glad you think so, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. <sighs> well... This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these, these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Now hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. Yeah? You, you really think so? Yes! Mm, nah. Bedrocking time. Oh well. <laughs> Toodles! This doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk.
this. How are we gonna stop this? We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Stop this? How are we gonna stop this? We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I, uh, Found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato four five one. It was uh, it was a good thought, but uh... password protocol initiated. It's him. Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was easy to hang on to your friends. Is that...? to begin a new program. I... That was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato. Right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato, please? Acquiring potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! 
Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's... Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well... I guess the worst has happened, and you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No take that. <laughs> Jesse, hurry. Change of scenery. The... the Sea Temple? Kalukale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh, that was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Figures. This temple, this challenge, is my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. <gasps> Running out of platform, Jesse. No. Nowhere to run. Ah! Use the gauntlet. Just die already. <laughs> this is impossible. No one gets to make me small. I can't. Why do I feel so powerless? Come on! 
I certainly hope you're enjoying this trip down memory lane as much as I am.
Why do you have to go and make everything so difficult? Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... This place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My power... It was just frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. That's not up to you. You've hurt a lot of people. Well then, well, what, what are you going to do with me? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. Not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. See if I 
can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara... Well, it's something, at least. And... and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. I think you might want to stay away from her, Romeo. I honestly think she might just kill you if she sees you again. Well, then that's a risk I have to take. She's sort of the only friend I have left. <laughs> Seems fitting that my only friend wants to kill me. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he- Don't worry. It's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you- you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. Doesn't have his admin powers anymore. Now, he's just Romeo. He's harmless. Yeah, I'd worry more about people wanting to hurt him. A lot of people out there who might want a piece of the old admin. What do you guys say we head home? I say... Way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. I'm approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. <laughs> After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. So, no more ninja Ivor then? Ha! <laughs> No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Soren? No idea where he is, but I've got some leads. You can apologize, but they might not forgive you. I know. And they don't have to. Admitting my wrongs would be its own reward. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind. But, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful, but also fun. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is... best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. 
Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. Now, if she wants to stick with me, it'll be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. I always considered you a part of the family. Okay, well, the stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Well, what can I say? I looked below the surface and saw that you probably weren't the worst all the way down. What was that about Stella being the worst? Ha! Huh? Hey! I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I ah! come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Jeez, it'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Everyone's gotta find their happy place. For Petra, it's mostly in unexplored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. Hey, you guys are missing out on Prime Group Hug action. You don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... No, nah, I got a feeling we'll all be together again. I don't know when, don't know where, but it'll happen. I hope so. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> Too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. We should let the people of Beacon Town decide. Right on. I'm confident I can earn their trust. Hey, remember, you're an invaluable member of this place. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm going to miss them too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. Come on, Luna.
Goodbye, everyone. Hey, Tummy, you gonna wait up or what? Hoping you'd be interested in a race. Ha! Ah, you're on! Mm-hmm.